Okay, I'm gonna say it. This may be the most interesting camera that I own, the Sony ZV-E1. Yet oddly, it may also be the most boring, borderline ugly camera, and not just in my collection, but ever, until and now. And finally, the excitement I get using this camera matches how I feel when I look at it. But I had to customize it for a few reasons, one of which may be mandatory. So here, I'll show you how I customized and wrapped my Sony ZV-E1 in this amazing skin from AlphaGuard. But first, so this is the third camera I have wrapped and the third video I've made doing this, and this is not in any way sponsored. I just like my cameras, if possible, to not look like everyone else's, or I want them to look like each other. So I also custom cut these skins on my Sony a7C and the ZV-1 to look like they were from the cinema line to match my FX3. But with the ZV-E1, to be honest, I found myself sheepishly pulling this camera out of the bag when I've been traveling or out with the family and then sort of just quickly pushing it back into my sling instead of maybe proudly wearing it around my neck because it looks like a cheap toy, to be frank. And I thought instead of just wrapping it again in a stealth gray like my others, I wanted it to stand out and to be more special than its siblings. So I just saw this new color from Alpha Guard called Contour Black. And until this particular skin came out, I wasn't going to wrap the ZV-1 at all because I find some of the other colors and prints a bit, uh, how do you say, trying too hard, like midlife crisis colors, if you know what I mean. But this design seems to match the idea that this is my travel camera, but it doesn't peacock in bright colors or scream, look, my tiny camera has a big sensor, I swear. Yet I know many will say you are risking overheating it by wrapping it in a skin so it can't breathe. And I'd say three things to that. One, maybe. <laughs> Two, I haven't had any overheating issues to date with the ZV-1. And three, and this is why I'm customizing it, because there are parts that do need more airflow, like around the battery and behind the screen. So I'm not wrapping the back or where the battery is. And I now know I can do this because I wrap my other cameras this way. So simply with a ruler or maybe a box cutter and good scissors and, and some patience, it is easy to do. In fact, these skins in general are way easier to do than they look. So simply clean your camera with alcohol wipes and follow the instructions. And if in a few months you want to change it or remove it, it's easy to do that as well. So let's rewind to how I customize the skin exactly now that you know why I'm wrapping it. So look, all these pieces and sections look super complicated and daunting, and it would be if you were doing it like it was designed to be done, where you wrap everything. But I'm definitely not doing the handle, the grip, the back, the screen, the bottom, or, or anywhere near the battery area. So really, I'm only using these three or four pieces, and I'm cutting this one in half. So with a ruler, I find the bottom and go down ever so slightly so it can wrap to the edge, which is just above the quarter inch hole. You can see on my A7C where I've done that as well. So you make a line and then cut it with good scissors and start placing these two sections. And there you go. Your camera is now wrapped and also ready to go so you can travel with it with a bit more pride and it can breathe. So what do you think? Do any of you guys use these skins to either protect your camera from scratches or just to visibly distinguish which camera is yours if say you're on a set or shooting a wedding where there's multiple camera bodies around you or because like me, you just want your camera to look the part as I think the Sony zv one now does. So let me know, have you tried these? Are you now more willing to? So thank you for your time and attention. I have a bunch more videos about videos like this on the way. So consider following along and subscribing. All right, thanks a lot guys. Bye.